Hello everyone, today we're going to be making Henry's Meatloaf for One for after the holiday blues and I need something for good filler until Super Bowl comes around because we're going to have a great Super Bowl video and even better Valentine's Day one. But you're going to need broccoli, you're going to need a pound and a half of ground beef, I only have a pound so we're going to have to do some math later. You're going to need breadcrumbs which is going to be half a cup. You're supposed to get catsup, but I only have ketchup, so we're going to make a substitute for that. And then you're going to need some salt, too. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to saute up some of our broccoli right on the burner here. We'll just do... That should be good. Now, you can hide vegetables pretty good in meatloaf, and nobody's really going to notice. Let me get something to mix this wood. Nobody's gonna really notice or anything, so this will be this will be great. We can have all this nice broccoli in there. Now, in Canada, soup is considered a luxury, and I just tossed out Amberlynn Reed's vomit soup. Can you can you imagine that? All right, as you can see here, our broccoli is just about done. You see, it's got nice char marks on it. Now we don't want to burn this because we're gonna cook it extra long in the uh, oven while it's inside the meatloaf. So we're gonna take this off the grill now and we'll get the rest of the stuff ready. Okay, so I forgot we also needed an egg, so don't forget to get yourself an egg. Now we're gonna take a mixing bowl here. Now the recipe calls for an eighth of a pound and a half of burger meat. So we're gonna have to do like a, a sixth of a pound? A little bit more than this, I guess. This should be about a six. Yeah, that looks good. We're going to toss in some of our broccoli. More piece. Now, we need to do... I'm going to put my hands first. Now, we need to do an eighth of this egg. So, we're going to try and get an eighth of this egg in there. Come on. Come on. All right, that should be good for that. Let's get my hands back out of there. We want to put in an eighth of a half a cup of breadcrumbs. I think, I think that should be good. And then we're going to mix this all together. Now, we want to practice good uh, 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 contamination skills. What am I trying to freaking say? Good hygiene practice. We always want to wear one rubber glove when we mix this up. Let's mix this all together. Get that nice broccoli in there. Mm, it actually, you know what? That broccoli actually smells pretty good. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm very, very, very impressed. Oh, I, I missed one more thing. Good thing we have the clean hand glove. Uh, you're, you're also supposed to put in uh, generally every pound of meat you use you want to use a tablespoon of salt. Uh, I don't know how much we used so uh, I'm just gonna put in some salt and we'll, we'll call that a day. Now I want to be nice and sanitary so I'm gonna actually you know what fuck the sanitation it's almost ready. Mm. Pound this baby down kind of like a, a little bit like a burger mix it back in here we'll put this right on our plate now I'm gonna go wash my hands I'll be right back I'm back now we want to get some ketchup ready uh, like I said he uses catsup so I have to substitute ketchup now generally you want to have about an eighth of a teaspoon of ketchup so I'm, I'm gonna try and uh, Get this here. Yeah, that should be good. We'll put that right in there. And then uh, we want to put in another uh, tablespoon of uh, ketchup. So we'll get the tablespoon here because that was supposed to be Worcestershire sauce. We'll put that right, right in this bowl here. We don't want to use too much of it now. And then we want to take this and make this a nice even layer on the top. 
of our uh, meatloaf here. So we'll take a nice spatula, make a nice even layer. If you have to use a little bit more, I guess that'll be all right. Uh, now, if you didn't know, a fun fact about ketchup, back in the day, Henry, uh, he made ketchup because they didn't have refrigeration back then. So in order to eat some of the older rotting meat, they needed something to cover it up. And they didn't really have much in the way of barbecue sauces or anything. So Henry Hines came up with ketchup and people eat it today. I assume that Henry and Henry are related. I mean, their first name is Henry, so he has to be pretty rich and well off now. All right, so we're going to uh, be baking this at 350 for 45 minutes. So we'll bake it and we'll come right back. And uh, while I'm baking it, why don't you watch this montage of all my girlfriends in 2019? Oh, you're back already? Uh... Well, I'm going to put this in the oven then. See you later. All right, it's been 45 minutes. Let's see how our uh, meatloaf looks. Let's see here. It actually, it actually looks pretty decent. Let me uh, close this. Uh, let me get a fork and I'll be right back. All right, so I put it on a plate befitting of it. Uh, just a nice paper plate. It uh, got a little stuck to my screen there. Now, this looks a, a bit different than how he did his. I mean, this is this is nicely cooked for me. I mean, it's a little little pink, but that's actually not too bad. But his, his seemed to be more like a hockey puck. So did I accidentally... I must have put too much meat in it or something. I fucked up the recipe. So let's have a bite of it, see how it is. It's okay. It's... It's actually pretty good. I'm impressed.